Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front-end development. In today's video, you will learn how to use Git Bisect to find bugs in your application. Today we will have a look at Git Bisect, which is a cool feature in Git that I don't think many people know about. It is very simple to use and it helps you to find a bad commit in your application. Okay, so let's say Today your application is not working, there is a bug or feature that you didn't know about or shouldn't be in, and you know a week ago it was working. You 100% sure a week ago you've seen this feature not there or the bug wasn't there. And that's exactly where you would use git bisect to actually narrow down and go through all the commits from today and a week ago. And git bisect will help you to check it out, run the app, and you will then mark whether that is working or not. And then you narrow it down into the last commit that uh, will be very clear when the bug was introduced. I have probably 10 commits in my application, simple change that broke it somewhere in the middle. And now we'll try to use git bisect to find out exactly which commit introduced this bug. What we have in a browser is a simple create react app that uh, displays the logo that should be animating. Okay, so we want this logo to be animating. That's the that's the bug we try to figure out when did we actually introduce the code that stopped animating. So we will need to go back to VS Code and have a look at git log. And as you can see, I just simplified it a little bit. So we have all the messages with just commit one, two, three, four, five, just to make it easier for us to understand what's happening with the git bisect and we know that in the first commit it was working we had the animation going so anywhere between the first commit and the currently checked out checked out commit the number five we broke it somewhere and now we'll try to use git bisect and figure out which commit broke it To start the git bisect process, we'll simply type in git bisect start. That will start the bisect, you see the B in the branch name. What we need to do then is to mark the current commit, either good or bad. So is the app working as we want now or not? We know that it's not working, so git bisect bad. Okay, now we mark this current commit as a bad one. And now we need to find out and tell Git what is the good commit. Okay, as you know from the Git log, we are grabbing the ID of the commit number one because we are confident that that time it worked. So Git bisect good and we pasting the ID of that commit. Okay, as you know, I've got only five commits. I don't have a week worth of commits, but you would approach it the same way. Just go to the one week old commit and paste the ID over here. Okay, if we do that, we are in bisecting mode. There is few revisions and currently we are checked out on the commit number three. And if we scroll down, we'll see in the browser that it's changed, but it still doesn't work. Okay, so we need to again mark this git bisect bad then it will check out another one and now it is working okay so this is the commit that is working we'll again go git bisect good because it is working now we are at the end of bisecting we've got the id of the first bad commit and to wrap it up to finish off the bisecting we need to type in git bisect reset okay this will put us back to the first commit that the commit that we had checked out before we started bisecting so we should be now on the commit number five and exactly that's where you see the head now that we know which commit broke it let's uh, firstly have a look what are the changes in that commit We'll type in git show and the ID of the commit and we'll see that we've removed the keyframes from the app.css and that's exactly what removed the animation and 
Now we can either leave it, we're just finding out what it is, what it caused the issue, or we can revert this commit. To revert a commit, we'll simply type in git revert, paste the ID of the commit. This will ask us for confirmation message, what the message of this new commit will be. We can just keep it as revert commit three, write and queue and escape it. Now we have one more commit that uh, removed the changes and brought the animations back in. Okay, we've got the keyframes back in. And if we look at git log, we'll see the new commit on our timeline that reverted the changes from the commit number three. Okay, if I go to the browser, quit here, clear it, and go to the browser, we should see the React logo nicely animating as it was at the start of this branch. And that's how you use Git Bisect to find your bad commits and help you debug your application. Just to recap what we've done, we started the process using the Git bisect start, then we've identified the current commit as a bad one. And then through the git log, we found the point where we thought, or we were quite confident that it was working. And we got the ID of that commit and we identified that as a git bisect good. And then the process started, we were checking out one commit after the other and reviewing the application and seeing whether it's still broken or not. That helped us to narrow it down just to that commit number three. We got that ID, we looked at the changes, and then we decided to revert them using the git revert. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, don't forget to check out all the other git tutorials and don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Until next time, happy coding.